how are you? And Tina Osborne, how are you? Okay, so this is from, this might be two or three trips. I don't know, because I've just been um, just holding it off because in order to have the time to do the haul. So this is either two, I think it is, no, this is three. I think, yes, this is three, three trips. So over the last, I don't know, three and a half weeks or something. Okay, so I'll show you some things. There's a lot of new things and stuff I'm gonna use for DIY as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome if you're joining us. You know what, let me just, I have, I'm gonna just fix one thing with our subscriber thing because I don't wanna be inundated with Trolls Highland and Ruby. Give me one second. I'm just gonna go on my other computer and just adjust the setting. I'm right here, I'm just adjusting something. Hang on one second. Okay, that's good. Sorry, go ahead and just change that. It, I don't think they have it set so that I can do it on the phone when I'm doing it. Okay, so the, yeah, they have a lot of new stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you these, which these are brand new and they are really, really cool. Okay, these are not on those, um, like the, the cardboard type ones they have, the paperboard one, no. This is MDF and it's heavy, but they're decorated on both sides, okay? And they have these little, things that go on them now, which is the Christmas house decor. So on this side, it says eat, drink, and be merry with the hot cocoa and the gingerbread. And on this side, it says baking spirits bright with the gingerbread and the nice red. So that is really nice. Then here's another two-sided one, okay? This slides off, well, I'll peel that one off, but let me see. That one they have on tighter than the other. So on this side, you have the red truck and the trees, and it says Merry and Bright. And this one says Merry Christmas with poinsettias. These are a dollar, so nice. Now I know there's an announcement made by Dollar Tree that they're going to, I think their shares went up so much. Um, I got a personal thank you. No but their shares went up so much that they're going to, and they're going to bring um, items in that are more than a dollar. So they're going to kind of expand their line. So this is Ho Ho Ho. And on this side you have gnomes and tis the season. Now I will tell you that they had a couple of gnome signs. I did not like the quality of them. They're not the ones from last year. They have like the Buffalo check in red and black. And all of them, the, the buffalo check stuff was like bumpy. It wasn't lining up good. And no, I wasn't going to get that. Now, this was a gnome thing they had. Now, this is from the Halloween, I guess, collection. So this is just a gnome oven mint. So I picked that up now. These are super cool. They're tight. These are for your mini trees. They're tiny little tree uh, metal tree rings and they look really vintage and they say Merry Christmas. These are really cute. So I picked up two of these. These are totally brand new. Then these are some of the jars I picked up. Now these, 
Are these the ones that I got last year? No, I think because they're in a little bit of a different design. I'm trying. Yes, okay, here's what I'm thinking of. One of these are the ones I had last year. And I think last year they might have had the copper top. And so these I had this year. And I'm going to decoupage some of these. I've already painted some of these. So I picked up a few of those. And let's see what I have. Yeah, there is two. I also picked up this little photo because it has that nice little leaf. Okay. And this one that's smooth. And I may pour candles in there with the candle kits that we have, which we're going to get started doing. Okay. And then these here. Hold on. Let's move this over. Here's a DIY for you. You might say, why did I get tea? I didn't get tea for any reason. I'm going to paint over that, and these are going to be a DIY, okay, because they had a bunch of letters. Don't let that, don't let that freak you out, because if, if, say you even want the letter, you could paint it and put a letter with your Cricut or a stencil, but I'm going to, I think I want to decoupage something on the middles of these. So these were nice, and this is, um, these are brand new. They didn't have these. They have a little burlap ribbon here. They didn't have these last year. So these, this is another new item. Okay. Okay. You always need these, so I pick those up. I picked up these wooden apple slices um, these are good for decoupaging something for fall. That it, and then I got the acorns. Those are good for banners or, you know, decoupage, whatever you want to do. You can practice putting your decoupage on there. Next, now, Dollar Tree hardly ever has eucalyptus. You usually have to buy the eucalyptus at Walmart but I hit it when they had eucalyptus and they had it in different colors than you normally see. So this is kind of like a, um, I don't know what color you would call that. Kind of like a gold beige and green, different than you usually see. So I think I have, let me see, three of those. And then they actually had and in this red color, which you don't normally see. And this is like a green and yellowish. And then I got these small sunflowers. I also, I bought those flowers for the perennials for those new flower beds today. And I put them outside. I'm gonna have to put them in one of my big barrel planters for the winter and then transfer them to the beds in the spring because I don't think they, they're gonna be ready for planting yet. Because Jimmy's got to get some stuff done, and then we've got to get a load of dirt. So, I don't know. We'll see. Now, these are new and different. These are like these little mini roses, and they almost look like they have snow on them. So, I and they're... I think these would be good if you wanted to put them outside. You know, somewhere, like on a porch or something, where they might get wet. Because they're... Final. They're not going to like mold or mildew. And so I picked up some of those. Like, I don't know, people like over the winter, sometimes when you don't have flowers, some people like to, they have a little box in the back of their mailbox or something. You could put something like this in there and not have to worry about the weather on that. These two, you know. Or if you have flower boxes and you want something during the winter. That kind of stuff would go nice. It wouldn't um, mildew it, like, you know, like silk flowers could. Okay. So this is just some more. Oh, and then I got, these are the white color. All right. Then I got, these are for DIY. I'm going to do these over. But look at that. You get the whole 
wooden frame here, you can pull the back out, decoupage it, do anything you want, put a saying with your Cricut. You can stain this um, with the Waverly antique wax, or you could do it with chalk paint if you wanted it white, and then it has the beads on top. That's all for a dollar, so you're not gonna beat that to redo that. And I don't particularly like these designs, so I'm redoing them over, and I'm gonna be staining them or painting them. And these are these little clippies with leaves that you can finish. And then these are harvest words. So they have quite a few words in here. Blessed, uh, hello autumn. There's like, this is a really good deal. There's like, I don't know, five or six different words in there. You can look at which they are, let's see. They're wooden, okay. There's blessed. Farm fresh. Welcome fall. Hello fall. Give thanks. Hello autumn. So that's a good deal. This is brand, This these are brand new too. Brand new. These were new. These are wooden little scarecrow tags. You can put them on any, you know, something on a basket or Hello Pumpkin and Harvest Blessings. This is this little sunflower that I just spent in the swan there. Then I don't know if you saw what I did last year and I gave it to my son and he has it on the middle of his table, but I put gather on this with the cricket, and then I had three mason jars. One was like gold, um, you know, they're glad. One was red, or either I gave them leaf dishes or something, but it said uh, gather, and it was really nice. So I'm gonna, these are, those are nice to put a word on, okay? Now they had them in the Buffalo check today, and I, and thank goodness, I almost ordered a bunch online, but I saw them in the store today and I don't like them. They, they're not straight and it's weird. It doesn't look like white and black. It looks like almost like a pink, like something was under it. it does, I don't like it. Okay, now these are another brand new thing. And supposedly they have these in just the wood color. You know how everyone's using their signs to make signs? Well, this is just blank in black and on the top I'll show you it has a pumpkin okay but so you can put your Cricut letters down here or you could use chalkboard markers uh, pens paint pens or something they're supposed to have them in regular wood too but I didn't see them I really wasn't looking for them today but those I got I don't know it was some time ago like a week or two ago okay So let's see what we have here. Now, I, these are not new, but I got one more with the sunflower. Okay. This is something new. These are little pumpkin drawstring treat bags. And there's, um, there's 15 pieces in here. I did get another one of those words. And there was only one, I think there was only one pack of these tiny little apples. Those look so cute, so I got those. I think I wanna paint those red and yellow. 
And I picked up some more floral tape. And then they had these buckets. Now these are bigger. So they're on both sides. That's the jack-o'-lantern. And then pumpkins. And on this side, there's a bicycle with sunflowers. So I'm gonna do one for my daughter because she's going to, we're gonna be going to the sheep and wool festival soon here. But she, you know, bikes and stuff. So I'm gonna probably do some cray, pa a cray paper flower arrangement in here for her. So I got that. Okay, now, um, speaking of that, Baby's girl is watching because these are really good for your balls for the flowers and they're foam so you can stick your stick in there with glue and it, it doesn't really matter what color they are because they're covered up but they're a lot cheaper this way than buying foam balls so I bought uh, you buy these and they're just, they're called the glitter of boss filler, but you can use them for your flowers. Speaking of which, I got new flowers today from my kids, my, uh, you know, my flowers of the month thingy. There's a sunflower there too and roses over there. Okay. Then I got these, cause I'm gonna decoupage, I'm gonna paint and decoupage something and on these uh, three pieces of the galvanized hearts. Okay. Okay, I just like these. These are a little, um, let me show you what these are. Little wooden They're really chunky. Okay. So they're little wooden clipboards. Look how cute they are. You can straighten that clip out. Um, it has a little easel back. It's a nice thick sign, and you can put anything there and, you know, make it your own. Any of the little sayings or something, you, if you have a Cricut, you could make something and print it out. And so I picked up them. They would be really cute, you know, now that I'm looking at it, really cute for your, I've done the, um, the little name plates. I did them all for us one year where we had these, uh, I made these flowers and these little, but the, how cute would that be to have that around your like Thanksgiving table and you could put somebody's name or an initial on there and then they can take it with them. Okay. So I just got some of this uh, lace ribbon. It's kind of like that, the uh, macrame kind, you know what I mean? I use that for Wrap bottles and stuff. And I picked up some of the extra fine glitter. These are when I do those glitter ornaments, and this is like in a goldish copper. And this is in the red. And then I also picked up this ribbon. Okay. And then they had this. Um, the hard candy plumping serum. How can, you know, just try that out and see how that goes. Let's see, let's see. Okay. For a dollar, you can put on your mannequin. And I do have one. Okay. Okay. Here's a mason jar with the letter C cut out of it. So I did get that one. And they had these tiny little 
decorative pumpkin picks and you could cut them off in order if you're like doing a little decor project. Oh, and here's another one of those signs that I'm going to do over because I don't like I don't like any of their things, but I like the signs for a dollar you can't you're not going to be able to get some of that to make over. Okay. So they had these little, they had a lot of these. They had ghosts and bats and everything. I got one little ghost, kind of looks like the Pac-Man ghost. And one little witch's hat. And then these little ready-made ribbons with the blue trucks. And then like they had these and bats and everything too, but these are little ghosts, they're little clippies. Okay, now the reason I got this is because I just thought it looked really vintage. Can, can you see? It's, it's got the moon with the bats and then it says Happy Halloween. And I thought it had a, a vintage look to it and I just, I picked that one up even though I have a I could not for the life of me remember if I had this with the galvanized leaf. And if I do, then I'll make this one over and I'll paint over it and decoupage something on it. Okay, I'll probably give that to my son then. And these reminded me, really vintage. They're the black cats and the, they're ho I think it says Happy Halloween. That looked really vintagey to me. And this as well, there's pumpkins, bats, and ghosts in there. I pick that up. Okay. Then these are the little um, jack-o'-lantern clips and these were these little welcome fall clear ziploc bags and there's 30 30 of them in here and these are not only good for little crafty things like that your fall themes which i'll show you if i know what i'm going to be definitely putting in here but 30 of them ziploc okay and then This family, one is the MDF. I'm going to decoupage this and thankful. I'm either going to decoupage it or I'm going to do the pour, the acrylic uh, pour on them. I don't know which one yet. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is kind of move some stuff here just so I can spread out and see I went out today and I still have my uh, part of my ice coffee. That, that she shook for me. She did the shake on that. And I didn't even ask her. Okay. Okay. So I picked up Two of these, these are the snow globe DIYs. I'm gonna do something with those with these little trees. So I have two of those. Okay. Then these little shapes, these I'm gonna decoupage. Um, there's an ornament. 
a tree. I picked up some of these um, glue sticks in gold. And with these, you can actually like write with your glue stick or make a design in a, there's a lot of things you can do with those. So I'm sure it's two that you decoupage. This is brand new. Those are, these are brand new. Okay, I mean, these are brand new. Look at this, pom-pom trim. They only had green. It's in the Christmas stuff by the mini trees of pom-pom green. Um, trim. I only saw green. I imagine they probably have red. Okay. Now these are brand new. At first I thought these were like hair elastics, but they're not. And you know what? Okay. These are so good because it is um, chenille garland. So last year at Michael's, I got these ornaments, like Christmas stockings and stuff. They were like DIY that you either paint or decoupage. You have this that you can just hang all that stuff on. I did the reindeer last year. Remember I did the reindeer with all their names from the Cricut? Dancer and Prancer and Donner and Blitzen. Yeah, then you can do these easy um, on, on these garlands. So I did pick up, I think I have five of these. Now, I picked up one of these. I have a lot of these, but I didn't have this buffalo check. These are great for doing floral arrangements in there because you can put the flowers in the top. And I always do floral arrangements in these. The other thing that's nice to have these around, and I'll show you a little trick. Well, you can have these on like your counter or something. And if you have Christmas cards or stuff that's coming, you can just put it in there. But I usually use these for floral arrangements. And then my little trick or Luke would say is a life hack, I guess. A little life hack is if you have a decorative box like this, which is like a little sweet shop, you could have it on your counter. And let's say you needed like your ornament hooks or things that you use, you know, but you just don't want them out. They don't look that great. You can put, you can just stash them in something like this for the holidays, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you always need to keep the ornament hooks out because you buy different ornaments and stuff like that. Okay, they only had very few ornaments out and I didn't really need them. They had these, okay? These are the snowflakes. They also had a good buy where they, you got four on a strand or something. I don't know why I thought that would have been a better buy, because no, this is, you get eight here. Yeah, they have them on strands, but different kinds, and you could cut them off too. So they have this one, and it's a whitewash with Believe with the Buffalo check there. And then this is the tartan that says Peace. Here's another one of those house boxes. I like this one. This is a new design. Okay, and then this is another wood shape. Okay, then they had these. These are, these are pretty cute. If you're making up a gift basket, um, I'll show you this because these, these are new. I've never seen these. These are not a Dollar Tree product. You know, a lot of times you'll get something in there that's not a Dollar Tree product, and that's always good because it's usually more. This is um, called the, the U Essence Candle. And it has a really nice, so that would be nice to put in a gift basket because the thing is, they're so difficult to open. I mean, I was trying to open them in the store. The boxes are like so tight, okay.
but they're wrapped really nice. And then inside, it says that, and it's got that. And it has a, like a Christmassy smell, so that's nice. For like a little, you know, to pop in a little gift basket. So I don't know if your store will have those, but check it out. Okay. Um, they had packages, which I, I haven't seen, of the green, uh, red, and natural raffia. I picked that up. Anticipation for making candles. I picked up this to put to pour a candle in this. They also had black and white stripes. I picked up this to pour a candle into this. So they have these little mini crates and they're half the size of the other ones and they have a little string so you can easily, you could do a really cute DIY if you painted this red and took those little sisal trees, put in there and then you could put something on here with your Cricut or something, trees and make a little ornament. There's a lot of things you could do with these little crates. They're really cute. Um, then these little sticker decals, I haven't seen those. And I did pick up one of these because, 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 I'll tell you why. These are good. It's just stiff enough for like cleaning out your laptop um, to get anything it's like in your keys or your keyboards and stuff like that. So that's going to be for that purpose. They came out with the rocks again this time that have peace and joy. So I picked up two of these. I'm not going to use those colors. I'll probably whitewash it or... Um, I'm, one I'm going to put on my parents' grave, you know, on the rock for them, and then I have a, another one. Okay, and let's see here. These are something new, and they look kind of vintage, these poinsettias. These are for the candles. They come with the little bases and they come in um, clear or the black. So I'm going to pour candles in those. Oh, and then they have these with initials on them on both sides. And those are nice for topiaries or uh, flowering and stuff like that, little trees. sunflowers and these are little metal sunflowers and they're almost like bobblehead thought they were like cute so I got two of those and they had the little snow globes and that one says hope with Santa and then I got one with a gnome which is Somewhere. 
These are also brand new. That's in the shape of a bell. I think I got two of each design. Maybe three of the ornaments. These are really good for decoupage. Star, oh, the bell, trees. the rocks and then they had this one which says Mary on the, the black and then I think they had these angel wings last year but I don't remember these okay and then there's hold on I just got this little guy because he looks cute um, and I like snowmen. They had a Santa, but I just got the snowman. He's like knit. It's cute. You can put him on a basket or anything. We'll, we're using as an ornament. And this was the the gnome snow globe. And I think, let me see. That was it, I was pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, that, I think that was it. That was it, let me just say, yeah. Good. So that was it, and um, Oh, Davida Lane sent me an attachment. Let me see if it's anything that I need. Hold on. So yeah, I'm going to go put this stuff away, and it's hot. I wish it was cooler. Yeah, yeah, Sparks, that's a good idea. But I'll be back when the day is now. <laughs> no, I'll be back. Now. What time is it? It's 12, 25. I'll be back before the hour. Carolyn, yeah, I just saw it. I just saw it. Thank you, Davida. See, I checked your messages. See? See, I did. Um, but I'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit. So look for me. You might not get a notification. All right. I'm going to go put this stuff away. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Um, bye. I love you guys.